I don't know how many of you have actually heard of this name because it's not catching on. And in, in fact, it's quite embarrassing to watch people still push it because it's, it's just not going to work. Uh, the term is Latin X, which is impossibly hard to say in Spanish, at least according to the Washington Post. I don't speak Spanish, uh, but I do know people that do that will talk about this and they'll tell you um, Spanish is a gendered language. There's multiple terms for male and female, but there's a, been this weird push to try to change the language to get to make it more inclusive. You would have to, from what I've been told, restructure the entire language to do this. And uh, Latinos aren't having it. And they're not having this weird Latinx thing. They don't like it. Uh, they're just fine with Latino or Latina. And they seem to be just fine with that. And it's not, and and, uh, as much as these people and these elites, or like I like to say, woke white people, as much as they want to push this to be a big thing, it's just not happening. And according to the Washington Post, it never will. And I'm inclined to agree with them. So they break it down right here. The term Latinx modifying Latino and Latina to describe people in a gender inclusive way has become commonplace in some quarters. Basically with uh, social scientists, uh, progressive liberal politicians and so on and so on, but they can't even get um, they can't even get people that are actually Latino and in politics to use it. And we have a nice little statistic here right here that I thought was really funny. How they talk about only 3% of the 61 million people of Latin America living in the United States, only about one in four Latinos in the United States are familiar with the term, according to an August Pew Research Center survey. Just 3% actually identify themselves that way. Even politically liberal Latinos aligned with the Board of Cultural Goals of the left are often reluctant to use it. I thought that was hilarious because this is a humongous fail for a lot of this stuff that's trying to be pushed. It's a huge fail. I've always thought it was cringe. Like, what is Latin X? I thought it was like, I thought it was like, what I remember when I first heard about it, I thought it was like some weird hipster thing. It's not. It's actually what they want people to identify as. It's, it's very strange. So they're not having it. They think this is shit. And what I found really funny, which made me want to make this video in the first place, was this tweet yesterday by Ted Cruz. And he says, nobody who's actually Latino uses the made up word Latinx. And I said, lol, the only people correcting him are woke white people, which is 100% true. The only people that are saying he's wrong are white people, which I found absolutely hilarious. Most people that are in here and are actually Latino are green with him and making fun of it. And I thought that was pretty hilarious. Let me show you some examples right here. Here's one right here. This guy says, what the hell is Latinx? And then we have a white man come in and say that it's a gender neutral term used to describe all people within the Latino A community. It's it's nothing but a bunch of woke white people that are complaining about it. <laughs> They're the only ones. They're like, they want to be everyone's savior. And all they ever do is annoy anybody. That's it. They just annoy people with their cringe and their weirdness to try to get people to forgive them for their sins of of being who they are or whatever. I don't know. It's very strange. But I found this absolutely hilarious that the only people that are mad is uh, is a bunch of uh, is a bunch of woke whites. I got a kick out of it, and it's true. You can go look at this tweet and look through it yourself. And you'll see, you'll see exactly what it is. And uh, it's, it's, it's quite funny. So uh, I got a real kick out of that. And I like that they're coming to term. I would hope that this strange thing gets dropped. Like you're never going to change this, this language. Though they're trying. They're trying hard. I just Googled it real quick. And you can see right here is one. And then we could move on here. And you can see this one. Can we fix Spain's language problem? Here's another one and another one. <laughs> They've been pushing this. This goes back for years. You can find this left and right. And I, I think it's absolutely hilarious. And it's a huge fail. And uh, I, I love 
that 61 million people basically said, uh, GTFO. I think that that's quite wonderful. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think about all of this. Also, if you would, please like and share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.